Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on implementation of 4x16 decoder using 2x4 decoder. In the previous video, we are already discussed about how to design 4x16 decoder and its block diagram, truth table and logic diagram of a 4x16 decoder. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about how 4x16 higher order decoder can be implemented by using lower order decoder that is a 2x4 decoder. Okay. Now, this is the block diagram of a 4x16 decoder. It contains a uh, Number of inputs n is equal to 4. It can produce 2 power n number of outputs that is 2 power 4 that is equal to 16 outputs. 4 inputs and 16 outputs. Hence it becomes a 4 by 16 a decoder. Okay. Here the 4 inputs are A, B, C and D. Okay. 16 outputs are D0 to D15. Okay. D0 to D15. So total 16 outputs are there. Okay. So each and every output is one product term that is a D15. The product term is A, B, C, D and a D14 a, B, C, D bar in the same way D naught, A bar, B bar, C bar, D bar. Okay. So each and every product term is called as a min term. Okay. So to implement these 16 outputs, okay, 16 AND gates are required and 4 NOT gates are required to implement these 16 outputs when 4 inputs are applied. Among the 16 outputs, only one output is enabled and the remaining uh, outputs are uh, disabled when enable input E is equal to 1. So here enable input E e is can be called as a controller of the 4x16 decoder. It can control the operation of the 4x16 decoder. So when E value is equal to 1, okay, only among the 16 outputs, only one output is enabled. The remaining outputs are disabled. This can be done only when enable input E is equal to 1. When enable input E is equal to 0, without applying the inputs, all the decoders produces the output as 0. Okay. So, this is the description about a 4 by 16 decoder. Okay. Now, this 4 by 16 decoder can be implemented by using 2 by 4 a decoder. Okay. Whereas 4 by 16 decoder can be called as higher order decoder and a 2 by 4 decoder can be called as lower order a decoder. Okay. So this is the block diagram of 4 by 16 decoder. So to implement this 4 by 16 decoder, how many number of 2 by 4 decoders are required? So, for that one, the formula is a required number of required number of 2 by 4 decoders 2 by 4 decoders is equal to M2 by M1. So, M2 is nothing but number of outputs of higher order decoder. So, number of outputs of higher order decoder is, this is the higher order decoder, this is the input and this is the output. So, number of outputs of higher order decoder is 16 divided by 
2 by 4 decoder. 2 by 4, this is the input, this is the output. Number of outputs of lower order decoder, that is 4. Okay. So, 16 by 4 is equal to 4. Okay. Initially, 4 2 by 4 decoders are required to implement 4 by 16 a decoder. Only initially. Okay. It is not the... Uh, complete number of 2 by 4 decoders are required to implement 4 by 16 decoder. Initially, 4 2 by 4 decoders are required. Okay. Now, I am drawing 4 2 by 4 decoders. So, for all 4, 2 by 4 decoders, we are applying the same inputs. Okay. So, that is, I am applying C, D. In 4 by 16 decoder, how many number of in outputs we are producing? 16 outputs starting from D0 and ending with the D15. Here, 16 outputs are there. So, starting with the D0 and ending with 15, D15. So, total uh, 16 outputs are generated. These 4 outputs are first 2 by 4 decoder. These four outputs are second 2 by 4 decoder. These four outputs are third 2 by 4 decoder. These four outputs are fourth 2 by 4 decoder. Okay. We require another one more decoder. So, 4 plus 1 that is equal to 5. Okay. So, this decoder is used for selecting among the one more 2 by 4 decoder. This is one more 2 by 4 uh, decoder. Here the input is A and here the input is B. Okay. Now it can generate uh, 4 outputs. 4 outputs. Okay. So, the first output is connected to enable input of the first 2 by 4 decoder. So, this is the enable input. Enable input of the first 2 by 4 decoder. Okay. Now, second 2 by 4 decoder can be second output of the this 2 by 4 decoder can be connected to enable input of the second 2 by 4 decoder. Okay. Now, the third output of this 2 by 4 decoder is connected to the enable input of third 2 by 4 decoder. Next, fourth output of the this 2 by 4 decoder can be connected to the Enable input of the fourth two by four a decoder. Okay. So now this is the um, circuit diagram or logic diagram of implementation of four by sixteen decoder using two by four decoder. How many number of decoders are required? 2 by 4 decoders are required to implement 4 by 16 decoder. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and another one is 5. Okay. So, this decodes. Okay. Each and every output. Okay. The first output is connected to the enable input of the first 2 by 4 decoder. The second output of this 2 by 4 decoder is connected to the enable input of the second 2 by 4 decoder. Third output of this 2 by 4 decoder is connected to the enable input of the third 2 by 4 decoder. Fourth output of this 2 by 4 decoder is connected to the enable input of the fourth 2 by 4 decoder. When two inputs A and B are applied, here this is the enable input. Okay. Enable input. Next, how it can be worked? Okay, what is the working of this implementation of 
4 by 16 decoder when decoder using uh, 2 by 4 using 2 by 4 per decoder. So here implementation of Four by sixteen decoder using two by four decoder. So this is the logic diagram. Now, how it can be worked? So, for example, among the 16 outputs, only one output is enabled. All the remaining outputs are disabled. So, which output is enabled? Okay, that can be checked by using some examples. So, I am taking the input A, B, C, D. So, 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay. So, A value 1. Here, A value 1. B value 1. Okay. Uh, C value and C value and B value are 0, 0. So, whenever A value 1, B value 1. Okay. What is the output here? It is selected for this decoder. 1, 1. 1, 1 is nothing but the equivalent decimal value is 3. So, the third output, this is the zero output, first output, second output, this is the third output. This third output is selected. It is connected to the enable input of the fourth 2 by 4 decoder. Here, what is C value and D value? Here, C value is zero, D value is a zero. Okay. Now, what is the equivalent output that can be generated here a value 1 b value 1 c value 0 d value 0 okay so total is 110 what is the equivalent decimal value that is a 12 so d12 output is enabled the all the remaining outputs are disabled here a value 1 b value 1 whenever a value 1 B value 1. Okay. What is the equivalent decimal value? So that is a 3. 3 means this is the 0th output. This is the first output. This is the second output. This is the third output. So this output is enabled. Remaining outputs are disabled. This output is connected to the enable input of 4th 2 by 4 a decoder. Okay, now this decoder is enabled, all the remaining decoders are disabled. Okay, so among the four outputs, which output is enabled? Okay, so here A value 1, B value 1, C value 0, D value 0. Okay, what is the equivalent decimal value? That is a 12. So D12 output is enabled and the remaining uh, decoder outputs of all 2 by 4 decoders are disabled. Only this decoder is enabled. Uh, the remaining decoders are uh, disabled. So he, among the 4 outputs, this output is enabled. The remaining outputs are disabled. Okay. Next, another example. A, B, C, D. Here, I am taking 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay. So here, a value 1, A value 1, B value 0. Here A value 1, B value 0. So what is the equivalent decimal value here? That is 2. Okay, 2 means this is 0th output, this is the first output, this is the second output. Okay, so this is 0 output, this is 1 output, this is second output, this is the third output. So, what is the equivalent decimal value of 1, 0? That is 2. So, this output is enabled. The remaining outputs are disabled. This output is connected to third 2 by 4 decoder. Third 2 by 4 decoder. 
okay this decoder is enabled this one this one and this one are disabled so what is the equivalent decimal value uh, what is the equivalent decimal value for this one so that is a 10 10 means so d10 output is enabled the remaining d8 d9 and d11 are uh, disabled okay only d10 output is enabled all the remaining outputs are disabled okay so d10 output is enabled next example uh, a b c d okay so 0 1 1 0 okay here uh, a value 0 b value 1 a value 0 b value 1 what is the equivalent decimal value so that is 1 okay here the first output this output is enabled because 0 1 what is the equivalent decimal value 1 so this output is enabled the remaining outputs are disabled this output is connected to the second 2 by 4 a decoder now this decoder is enabled the remaining this one this one this one are disabled okay then which output is enabled for this decoder so what is the equivalent decimal value here so 0 1 1 0 equivalent decimal value is a 6 so among the four outputs so d6 d6 output is enabled the remaining outputs are disabled okay next another output another another example a b c d here i am 0 0 1 1 okay so here a value 0 b value 0 so what is the equivalent decimal value here 0 okay that is 0 output is enabled remaining 1 2 3 outputs are disabled this 0 output is connected to the first 2 by 4 decoder okay in the first 2 by 4 decoder what is c value what is b value c value 1 b value 1 okay the equivalent decimal value is now 3 so 3 is nothing but d3 output is enabled the remaining outputs are disabled okay so first we have to observe a b values okay what is the a value what is the b value what is the equivalent decimal value so once we are finding out the equivalent decimal value of a b then among the four decoders so which decoder is enabled that can be known okay so for example a b value is 1 1 a value 1 b value 1 what is the equivalent decimal value for 1 1 that is a 3 up to only 1 1 is nothing but 3 among the four outputs the third output is enabled the remaining 0 1 2 outputs are disabled the third output is connected to which decoder fourth 2 by 4 a decoder so one here this decoder is enabled only this one this one this one are disabled so once this decoder is enabled which output is enabled among the four outputs okay for that one 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 zero zero now what is the equivalent decimal value that is a 12 so only d12 output is enabled here c value 0 d value 0 a value 1 b value 1 1 1 0 0 equivalent decimal value that is a 12 so d12 output is enabled and d13 d14 d15 outputs are disabled okay thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel link so be well please share like comment on this video thank you